But before the night even began, Adam Lambert and I tore it up on the red carpet. The American Idol star thrilled the fans and the stars as our special correspondent. So good to meet you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, what an honor. Yeah, I know. Hi, gorgeous. Yeah. Jennifer Hudson, who went from American Idol to Oscar winner, is a fan. I worship the ground she walks on, just so you all know. Uh -uh. <laughs> all idol, all the time. Hi, I'm good. How are you doing? I love Taylor Swift flashed back to the very first time she and Adam met. You had introduced me, and then my band started playing, and then I like ran up to you, kissed you on the cheek, and bam, was singing. a shotgun hug. And someone got it on camera, of course. A shotgun hug. I love that. Yeah. You look beautiful. And Leah Michelle of the Golden Globe winning Glee reacted to reports that Adam may show up on an upcoming episode. Here's the thing. It's like when you are an athlete, you want to train with the best trainer. And as a singer, you want to sing with the best singers. Choose and to stop. That... On stage and on the red carpet, Jamie Foxx made it a family affair. Younger sister Deandra danced on stage, and his nearly 16-year-old daughter, Corinne, turned heads. Look at this. I'm worried for you, buddy. Shotgun right now. Get the shotgun right now. <laughs> you got a problem. And E.T. breaks news about the remake of Michael Jackson's 1985 charity hit, We Are the World. A reported 100 singers and actors will participate, and it's being recorded today. Lionel Richie and Quincy Jones produced the original and will guide this new version. Michael will be included. We're clicking cover up all that. Oh, so Michael will be in it somehow, some way. Got it all covered. Trust me. You always do. Now, we know all your favorite artists know the lyrics to their songs, but how well do they know the other hits? Time now to play a little What's That Song? You sing those lyrics and you tell me which song that is. I want to hold them like they do in Texas, please. I only know, uh, you got to know when to hold them. Uh, know when to fold them. Is that wrong? That's not Kenny Rogers. Oh, lady. Oh, I mean. <laughs> it's okay. We had it. It's poker face. You're on the phone. I don't even know the melody. So I, you're a school. <laughs> she wears shorts. She wears short shirts, I wear t-shirts. She's sheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. That's a uh, Taylor Swift joint. All the single ladies, all the single ladies. All right, so sing those lyrics and tell me what you If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Uh-oh, 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 uh -oh. Beyonce, uh -oh. <laughs> Hello, do you live under a rock? Now, Adam wasn't just hanging out and singing with the stars. Nope, he had a serious job to do. His best and worst dressed is coming your way. It looks like Little Mermaid meets Bed Bath & Beyond. Lambert lays down the fashion law. We know Taylor Swift is taking home Grammys, but will she be on my best or worst dress? I'm hoping for the best. Lambert struts his stuff on the Grammy red carpet, and he is taking a few prisoners, all in the name of fashion. Okay, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for. My first ever Entertainment Tonight Best and Worst Dressed at the Grammys list. Katy Perry in Zach Posen. I really liked what she was doing. I thought it was, it was a little different. She had a bindi. But can we see the back? Can we see? Ooh, your back looks good. Number four. Taylor Swift looked absolutely beautiful. Full length blue gown, open back, the beating was fantastic. Skin flawless, her makeup, her hair. She looked classy, sophisticated, and elegant. She is a tall glamazon. I love it. You look beautiful. Number three, Fergie in Poochie. There is nothing to police on this thing. Let me see this. Let me see this. Ooh. It was blue, it was suede, it was gold, it was awesome. Fergalicious. Number two, Rihanna coming in last minute right before the carpet closed. It was like Cinderella getting to the ball. She looked fantastic in a cream colored gown, hair and makeup flawless as usual. I have created a separate award, the Glambert Award, and it goes to Lady Gaga. Oh, oh.
Now, I, I don't think I could give her a one through a five because she lives on her own fashion planet. She looks like fashion on parade. And now, here is my number one best dressed. Pink looked like a star tonight. She hasn't performed at the Grammys for nine years, so she came back tonight with a bang. I like your it silver. Goes with, it goes yes. with my theme of the evening with my performance. Computers, silvers, whites. I think there was a lot of thought put into this. She looked classy and she looked beautiful. Of course, now the question is, who was a big fat fail? My worst dressed coming up in seconds. And now our ET special correspondent Adam Lambert names his worst dressed stars at the Grammys. Carrie Underwood, beautiful girl. You better run for your life. Something about it wasn't quite fitting right for me. And of course now, who I named as the worst dressed star of the night, Miranda Lambert. I mean, she's got a great last name, but the dress looked a bit like a prom dress that you get at the mall. Miranda, I hate to say it, but it looks like Little Mermaid meets Bed Bath & Beyond. My very first best and worst dress for E.T., Mary, Mark, how did I do? Oh, you did great, Adam, and if you ask me, I think you kind of nailed it. I think he did. We haven't gotten any phone calls yet. Okay, be here tomorrow because we're going to take you inside the historic re-recording of Michael Jackson's We Are the World. His kids are expected to join around 100 stars for the amazing event, and we're going to show it all to you. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.